the holy ghost and power is keeping me we the holy ghost and power is keeping me hey jesus is keeping me jesus come on he's all over me jesus he's all over me and he's keeping me alive uh -huh. he's keeping me alive he's keeping me he's all over all over me and he's keeping me jesus jesus is keeping me now with the Holy Ghost of power, with the Holy Ghost of power, and this day, give me a life, this day, give me a life, with the Holy Ghost of power, this day, give me a life, Jesus, Jesus, this day, give me a life, ha ha ha. At this point, if you don't know him as Lord and Savior, how can you believe him? If you don't receive the love that he has made available to you by laying down his life and dying and resurrecting, how can you believe him? How can you walk by faith? So I know you would like to do that. If you like to do that, shall we pray together? Say with me, Jesus, I thank you It is well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, that the whole of life is just a drop of water in an ocean. Take the ocean to mean eternity. Now compare one drop of water to the ocean. Don't mess up the whole ocean because of one drop. You see, what do you mean? Life is what you have to make a decision for the kind of eternity you will have. And every man and every man has an opportunity. Jesus lived only 33 years. But it's 969 years. And whilst we still have this breath in our noses, and we still walk in the face of the earth, we have the best opportunity to define our tomorrow. Don't be deceived by lies, by envies, and I may still focus and run the race so that when you leave, heaven will never forget. Heaven will be glad to receive. Earth will never forget. So whether in life or death, you are preaching, you are teaching, you are encouraging, you are sanctifying, you are helping people for the great beyond.